So the final fight, which is the same night, is uh, Taylor versus Serrano. So I was excited about this one because I know who Josh is going for, probably. <laughs> and I'm going for Katie Taylor. Mm. <laughs> and I'm sure, Josh, you're going for Serrano, yeah? I mean, he, here's my take on the whole situation. Right. Right? If you're going to ask me who's going to win in a two-minute round fight, 10 rounds, yeah, you got to go Katie Taylor, 100%. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think Katie Taylor, her style is catered for women's boxing with the two-minute yeah. format. She's very herky-jerky, punches a lot, and then likes to tie up and can move. But I think Serrano, if there were three minutes, she could break her down, go to the body, use her power, and in my opinion, just kind of break Katie down more. I think she can win if it was three minutes. But I'm rooting for Serrano, but I think Katie Taylor is actually going to pull it off. All right. Wow. I was not yeah, I think, expecting that. I thought you were going to uh, go for Serrano. Yeah, because the thing with Katie Taylor, every time she's been in trouble, right, it was yeah. with Delphine Persoon, who was breaking her down, walking her down. Yeah. And Katie Taylor survived. If the fight was a little longer, I think she gets taken out. But two-minute rounds, it forces you to throw a lot of punches. It doesn't allow you to really develop into the fight. Like, you can't give away the first two or three rounds. You're almost down what? Like, you have to win the rest almost to kind of make it a close fight. If you give the first three away, your opponent gets two, there's a draw. So, yeah. like, there's not a lot of time to kind of develop. And I feel like with Serrano, her body work, you need time for that to to take dividend, like pay dividends. Yeah. You know, it's in that ninth, 10th, 11th, and 12th that those body shots take a toll. And... You know, Katie Taylor just is going to hold on the inside. But she's also much bigger than Serrano, too. So I think she could bully Serrano at certain points yeah. as well. All right. See, I always thought it would be the opposite. I thought more Katie Taylor fighting on the outside, mm -hmm. waiting to counter Serrano coming in, and Serrano really trying to push the fight. But I guess, like you said, it's like these two-minute rounds in women's boxing, it's like – it. <sighs> It really like ruins the momentum. You'll know better than me because you know. Mm. Um, I know you do, do. You not coach a few. You coach. Yeah, I, I coach a few women in uh, the two yeah. minute rounds. Just which is weird because everyone spars like three minute rounds. Yeah. And then when you have two minute rounds, before you know it, half the round is done, and it almost makes it where people get frantic, so their form kind of loses. It's like. Yeah, prettiness and everyone's snap on the punches kind of loses its, loses its integrity. I just hate two minute rounds personally, but yeah, Katie Same. Taylor likes to throw those shoe shine punches, and I think she could survive a ten round fight with two minute rounds. Yeah, yeah, no, I think um, that's what I'm kind of expecting as well. I'm expecting like it to go the full. Is it is ten? Is it ten rounds? Yeah, it is ten, 10 rounds, rounds. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it should be a good fight. No, I think regardless, I think it's good for women's boxing. I think mm -hmm. it, uh, it's it just it's just getting bigger and bigger um, for women. And fight it needed it needed a fight like this, didn't it? And two big stars. Uh, you know, fair play to both ladies. You know, go into this, and I hope they make a lot of money. And you know, whoever wins, you know. I'm sure you know they'll respect each other at the end, and you never know if it's a really good fight, they might get a second one. So uh, they need to, you know, make the most of the opportunities. They say.